hello out there welcome to this tutorial on differential calculus uh, this is our first video on differential calculus in this video we'll be looking at differentiation from first principles check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get links to other videos on differential calculus so we start the first problem differentiate x raised to power 4 from first principles um, here we can just choose either f of x is x raised to power 4 or y is equal to x raised to power 4 then we call this one equation 1 then we are going to increase y by delta y and increase x by delta x so that the increment in y to be delta x and the corresponding increment in x will be delta x so that we now have y plus delta y is equal to x plus delta x then to the power of 4 here we are going to expand the right hand side uh, where we still maintain the left hand side we need the Pascal's triangle to help us get the coefficient of the expansion of this uh, binomial expansion. So we have our Pascal triangle here. Pascal triangle for the coefficient of the expansion of x plus y to the power of n. And you can check uh, videos on our YouTube channel or visit this uh, site or link to get videos on Pascal triangle for expansion of binomials here the value of n is 4 so we are interested in this part where this is the power and these are the coefficients so we are only interested in this here uh, the method of expansion here is the coefficient of the first term the second term the third term the fourth term and the fifth term and in this case the power of the first term in the bracket will be increasing to the right while the power of the second term will be decreasing from the right to the left so that here we say x to the power of 4 then 4x to the power of 3, 6x to the power of 2, and 4x. Then the second term, which is delta x, we have the coefficient 1 from the right moving and decreasing to the left. So we have it delta 4x, delta 3x, delta 2x, and delta x. So with this, we have expanded the right-hand side. So we call this one equation 2. Then we now say equation 2 minus equation 1. In that case, y will cancel y, x4 will cancel x4. We'll be left with delta x is equal to 4x cubed delta x, 6x squared delta squared x, 4x delta cubed x, and plus delta 4x now we the method is divide by delta divide through by delta x so dividing this by delta x i have delta y over delta x dividing this by delta x i have four x cube this is going to be six x squared delta x this will be four x delta squared x and this is delta cube x now the next thing is to take limit of both sides as delta x approaches zero then we have uh, the y the x the limit of delta y over delta x as delta x approaches zero is the y the x so here we now have it as 4x cubed 0 0 0 so the the y the x the differential coefficients of the function from first principle is 4x cubed so we go to problem 2 given that y is equal to 2x squared plus 3x plus 5 find the y the x from first principle 
So we take the function y is equal to 2x squared plus 3x plus 5. Again, we increase y by delta y and increase x by delta x. Call this equation 1. So that gives us y plus delta y is equal to 2 into x plus delta x squared plus 3 into x plus delta x and plus this constant plus 5. So here we expand the right hand side. Expanding the right hand side, this is 2 into x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta squared x. Then the other terms uh, follow. We can now expand completely. So y plus delta y is equal to 2x squared plus 4x delta x plus 2 delta squared x plus 3x plus 3 delta x plus 5. Now again we say equation 2 minus equation 1. So in that case y will cancel y. 2x squared we go with 2x squared here and 3x we go with 3x here. 5 will go with 5. We are now left with uh, delta y is equal to 4x delta x plus 2 delta squared x plus 3 delta x. Then dividing through by delta x, we have uh, delta y over delta x is equal to 4 plus 2 delta x plus 3. So we now take limit of both sides as delta x approaches 0. We now have the y dx is equal to 4x. This is 0 then plus 3. This is the y dx of this function from first principle. We go to problem 3. For problem 3, find the derivative of y equal to 1 over x with respect to x from first principles. Um, we have uh, y equal to 1 over x. That's the first equation. Then increasing y and x, we have uh, y plus delta y is equal to 1 over x plus delta x. So again, we are going to say equation 2 minus equation 1 in that case y goes with y we are left with delta y uh, this cannot go again we just bring this minus this then simplify the lcm of the denominators is x into x plus delta x x into x plus delta x divided by x plus delta x will be left with x times 1 will give us uh, x x into x plus delta x divided by x will give us uh, x plus delta x so that's minus into x plus delta x expanding this uh, we are going to have minus delta x at the numerator and we still maintain our denominator because x minus x then minus delta x so the x minus x is gone so we have this um, we now divide through by delta x so we now have delta y over delta x dividing this by delta x is as good as multiplying by 1 over delta x this delta x we cancel this delta x I'll be left with negative 1 over x into x plus delta x now we take limit of both sides as delta x approaches 0 we will now have the y dx is equal to negative 1 over x squared if this is 0 we have x times x which is uh, x squared so the derivative of y equal to 1 over x with respect to x from first principles is negative 1 over x squared that's the end of solution to problem 3 and this is the end of this tutorial check the description to this video and our youtube channel to get more links to other videos on differential calculus 
until we come your way again goodbye